Dragon Ball Super Episode 124 is now officially in the history books as we make our way towards Dragon Ball Super Episode 125 in Topo unleashing his God of Destruction like energy against both Frieza and Android 17. And joining me here today to talk about this is an Advent member of my Discord server by the name of Scale. He is a huge fan of Topo and, and Scale, I wanted to talk to you today about Topo. Now, you are one of the only people that I know to my knowledge that likes Topo as much as anybody else. You appreciate the character. You, despite everybody else having to downplay the character, you're the only one for months that's pretty much been on the side of Topo and giving him a fair chance. And now, going into episode 125, we get to see how Topo is battling against Golden Frieza and Android 17. And this is a crucial moment. In my opinion, I'm not so sure about how he's going to do with Golden Frieza, but I do want to say that I think Android 17 is going to be eliminated. Maybe you feel differently with this new power having to manifest onto the surface. How do you feel about Topo engaging against both 17 and Golden Frieza? And by the end of it, who do you see Topo throwing out? And who do you see Topo being eliminated if you see Topo being eliminated in the first place? So what's your take on that? Right. So thank you for the invite, Alex. That uh, I have a lot to thank you for that. You have my gratitude. Okay. Um, uh, about Topo, man, it's it's amazing to me how so many people downplay Topo because it's like I get it. The only relevant things that he has done during the Universe Survival Arc were to fight against Goku and Vegeta. But that you you gotta you gotta understand something, or not you, but people have got to understand something. Those are the two protagonists of the series. That should be a measuring bar. He's not fighting against just any two characters. He's fighting against the two Saiyan protagonists of the series, both in blue form. He was going to f to use his full power during the Zen exhibition match uh, against Goku, and Goku was forced to use Kaioken. It wasn't like the battle against Gohan, where he totally insisted that Goku tapped into Kaioken, or at least tapped into Super Saiyan Blue. No, right. Goku. And, and it was not like the fight against Hit, because you and I both know that uh, the fight against Hit, Goku only, you only needed the speed in order to beat Hit, not the power. Well, he was decreasing on both by using Kaioken times 10, which is weird because now in the tournament, he seems to be very adjusted to that. But I mean, I, I get what you're saying. I don't think Topo is an inferior character as many people want to make him out to be. Surely enough, I think to Jiren, to Ultra Instinct, and maybe to Kaioken times 20, he is. But what's interesting is he's gonna fight Golden Frieza. I don't mean to downplay 17, I really do appreciate 17, and you even have to admit that 17's barrier is enough to deflect everything Topo can shoot at him. However, as we see Topo manifest this new power onto the surface, things might be a bit different. So, how do you see 17 stack up to him now? And what I really want to talk to you about is Golden Frieza. That, that I think, is going to be the pinnacle of the Topo fight between anybody because it, it's going to prove whether or not Topo has enough power or if he's, you know, capable enough in defeating such a person like Golden Frieza, who we've seen before to be equal to Super Saiyan Blue, if not stronger. And just seeing where this might go in terms of Topo's placement. So, against 17, where do you see him? And more importantly, against Golden Frieza, where do you see him? Well, uh, I I know that you you might disagree with that, Alex, but I feel like unleashes his full power. Uh, Seventeen and Frieza, both of them are goners. You They're think goners. both of them They're... are going to be gone? There's no way that Topo is going to allow them to stay in the ring because it's like if you notice during the 125 preview, uh, his aura is a little bit different from an actual God of Destruction. It's kind of like more pinkish where where is the okay. the god of destruction aura yeah. is actually purplish lighter it might be because he's not actually a fully fledged god of destruction he's not an official god of destruction but rather he's a candidate and it could also be because similar to goku black is using divine key so would you say that topo is using god energy because i don't think in my opinion that go uh, that topo is using the purity of what a god has for example beerus belmont um is he close to that absolutely you can't sit there and be ignorant 
or at least have willful, willful ignorance in saying that maybe he doesn't have that kind of power. I, I'm just saying that in comparison to an actual deity right now sitting on those bleachers, I don't think he has that power. But with the power that I think he has comes very, very, very close to it, which makes him a candidate to be one. What are your thoughts on that? But oh, I know that a lot of people are going to be wild at this, but I don't think that Topo is going to be close or at the level of the gods of destruction on the bench i think he's going to surpass them i think he's going to go to go past them because uh uh just an action just an aura demonstration you know how mad topo gets if if his suit is ripped you 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 know that is how a, a single rip caused in the zen exhibition match was able to make him furious now right he's right right now his entire shirt is off. Gonna be the god of destruction, like power combined with his anger. That's gonna give him such a massive boost that once he gets like that, seventeen and Frieza are not gonna be able to lay a finger on him. Going to proceed to eliminate both seventeen and Frieza, and then he's going to pretty much going to approach the battle that Jiren. With Vegeta, and then it's gonna be a 2v2 because I definitely think that Goku and Jiren are gonna settle their differences, and I definitely think that because of 126 that says uh, that Vegeta is going to surpass even a god, yeah, I think that sacrifice. I think yeah, and Topo are gonna have a rematch. Okay, wait a I, minute. So you're saying you're saying that both 17 and Freeze are gone, correct? Essentially, okay. So, with that being said, what I wanted to ask you is, I can see 17 go, because I, I really can't see 17 enduring as much, again, not downplaying him. How do you see Frieza going? Because he's been saved for plot for so long now, he hasn't really done much, except for 124 where he, where he assisted Gohan, which, again, to his credit, you have to admit, like, he did something that he normally doesn't do, and that's work with somebody to fight a common enemy. So, Frieza cooperated, but now, you don't think that even with true golden Frieza he could win, which is interesting because you just said and and you and you narrowed it down to Topo and Jiren versus Goku and Vegeta. If it comes down to that, let's say for example it is Goku Vegeta versus Topo and Jiren, what's your prognostication on that? I mean, like, is it possible that we may see Vegeta fight Topo or maybe Goku fight Topo as they swap off? Because if I don't think Freeze is gonna go. I'm sorry. I don't. I I think that somehow he's gonna remain very, very connivingly and very cowardly in the ring. He's gonna be here. But let's say 17 goes and Topo assumes that he he wrung out Frieza. If he pursue if he pursues Goku and Vegeta, how do you see this fight going about? Let's say for example, if it is down to those four, what do you think is gonna happen then? I mean, because essentially everyone except for Jiren arguably is at max power. So where do you see this fight going if that's the case? Well, Alex, uh, you know that I, I usually have some uh, contradictory or rather unpopular opinions amongst the fandom. Right, right. I'm like, I'm like a, ve I'm a very rare case. I think that it's going to be like this. Once it's uh, down to 2v2, because in my opinion, there's going to be Topo, Jiren, Goku, and Vegeta. I do think it, that it's going to begin when Jiren versus Topo and Vegeta. And at some point, they're going to swap because you know that Vegeta is much more determined than Goku to be Jiren. He has literally stated that. And Vegeta is not the kind of warrior that lets uh, an ambition go until he has fulfilled it. So I think that the final two matches, just to swerve us, because you know that to Toei and Toriyama love to swerve us, the final matches of the Tournament of Power are going to be simultaneous and they're going to be Vegeta against Jiren because in my opinion they're going to make uh, Vegeta's form equal, equal or maybe superior to Goku's Ultra Instinct and then Goku is going to tap into Ultra Instinct again while fighting Jiren and it, he's going to fight Topo he's going to have his rematch with Topo they're going to conclude that and as for who wins it's anybody's guess because it's lit it's literally going to be four warriors each one individually on the level of a destroyer god right it, it's it's gonna be anyone's guess if i had to guess 
I told you before that I, I would like to see Topo winning the tournament. The beef with Goku and realize that uh, if there was someone who he could, should call evil, it was Frieza and not Goku. And Jiren would do the same, but as there, there are only seven episodes left and only six minutes left, I think it's going to be a draw. I legit think, I, I legit think that uh, by the end of the timer, no one left in the ring. I think that you don't Jiren think. Well, see, that's a possibility. I, you don't want to rule that out because uh, I, I do want to say this. I do think that, in my opinion, Topo is going to go and last probably until like the final four ish, maybe final five. But there's some. I'm telling you, there's something about Frieza. Maybe Topo incapacitates Frieza, or maybe some, or maybe uh, it mangles him to the point where he's immobile, and you assume that maybe he's done for. But maybe he's just playing, you know, some sort of a trick or a card that you know assumes that you know if he's out of the ring or he's or he's done for. I think that once Topo, I, I well, if Goku uses Ultra Instinct, I'm sorry, Topo's done. Um, the only person I can see rivaling this power is Jiren. Just because of the way he's written, you, and nobody can deny that the way he's written is just this guy's a monster. And it, w when he fought Ultra Instinct before, he wasn't even trying. Even now, right now, as he's fighting both Goku and Vegeta, he isn't even trying. He's just more or less casually assuming the position and fighting them both with complete ease. Um, but any final thoughts as we close this out for episode 125 as to expectations for Topo's power, as to what you expect to see from 17, because he is going to put up a good fight, but it's just more or less like how far is he going to go, and just your final thoughts on Goku and Vegeta versus Jiren to close off 125. Oh, so, I'm going to say something that is going to surprise you. I think that the power that Topo is going to emit on 125 when once he powers up, beyond anything that Jiren has demonstrated so far. So you're saying we that he's going to be stronger than Jiren? Saying that he is going to be stronger than Jiren at full power. We know that Jiren is holding back. Right. I think that, just like you said, uh, you're saying that by plot, Jiren is the only one that can that can compete with Ultra Instinct, so far, which is yes. something that I, I disagree because in, in my opinion Jiren is too much for Ultra Instinct so rather than having Goku fight Jiren and completely be fathered they're gonna fight he's gonna fight someone that can actually equal him I definitely think that if Topo is the god of the destruction and if he actually rivals equals or surpasses a god of destruction prove a challenge even for Ultra Instinct so by, by the end you're saying that in all topo is going to be if anything stronger than an ultra instinct in, in your opinion yeah alex we, because uh if you notice uh up until this will got out troopers all of them have are the best in one area Jiren is the most powerful fastest and when it comes to topo i would say it is resiliency it's endurance he 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 knows how to tank if you notice during during the power and during the uh universe survival saga as a whole he has barely taken any damage whatsoever he a very powerful character and he's a very his defense is very high so it's like i don't really think that he's going to falter i do think that he's gonna clean house and just 17 and freeze and I do think that's get mad and they're gonna use that animation that they used to erase frost I think that they're gonna do the same thing to Frieza I want to see but it's something that predict that it could happen and if I had to ask two things on 25 I just want Topo seriously pose like i don't want to see any pose any dab any gesture from a pride trooper and 25 managed a miracle they actually managed menacing because a lot of people were crapping on him because of his appearance but you can't tell me that during that last shot of the preview he didn't he doesn't look like a beast 
He looks like... No, no, he looks like he's very angry and you can't blame him. Um, I think the most important part of noting that is the fact that his, um... His suit's ripped. His suit's ripped and he really cherishes the suit. He really, you know, has admiration for that. And I personally feel like it makes sense because when he fought Goku, Goku just barely, you know, tore his suit apart and he got really upset. Um, and it's very interesting that you say that and I can't wait to see what the comments have to say in response to what you're saying because I think that, in my opinion, because you said that you think 17 and Frieza are going to go. I think 17's going to go, but Frieza's still going to be in there. I I'm not sure if he's going to ring out Topo. But I, I don't think that Topo is going to have that much of a of a snooze fest in, in holding back. He's least, going to um, be at least on the final four. He's going no, to be definitely. I, I do four. agree. And I, I, I think, well, if this is the power that Topo is going to display, the only other logic for Goku or someone else to defeat him, well, actually, for, it would make the most sense for Goku to beat him then using Ultra Instinct if Topo beats him down severely enough. But in the end, guys, let us know what you all think down below. If you guys agree with scale, disagree with scale. If you guys agree with me, disagree with me. We want to hear your thoughts down below. Thank you all so much for watching. If you guys are new, hit that subscribe button, guys. You guys can also check out Scale. I will leave a link to his Discord and his Twitter down in the description below if you guys want to have a chat with him about Topo. Scale, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you all so much for watching, and we'll catch you guys in the comments. Thank you all once again. Peace.